Welcome to the town of Phelps. Uh, the town of Phelps was formed back in 1796 and settled around 1788. It was formerly known as Sullivan. Uh, the town of Phelps is named after one of the original proprietors and uh, the community was incorporated back in 1855 and it says here right on the sign settled in 1789 they might want to move that bush but yes nice sign let's check out the town We are on South Wayne Street and Pleasant Intersection. Looks like a quiet residential. What is that? with a waterfall very nice looking it's a nice little setup they have here little waterfall we just pulled up to the village of Phelps me and that little troublemaker in the back she's whining ready to go out and explore but um, according to niche.com, a niche gives this village, um, the town of the village of Phelps, an overall grade of B plus. They get a B minus for public schools, B for housing, good for families, uh, gets a B plus, nightlife B plus, and B plus for diversity. Yep, she's ready to go. She is ready to go. Um, their website basically states the population here in Phelps is uh, 6,858. Uh, and uh, the village of Phelps is located in Ontario County. Um, living in Phelps offers res residents a suburban rural mix feel. And most residents own their own homes in Phelps. There's a ton of parks, and uh, most residents here tend to be conservative. Uh, they also say the public school schools in Phelps are above average. Real estate prices here for um, median home value is around 126, 126,000, and the rent here goes for roughly 756. 84% uh, of folks who live here, uh, she's thirsty, <laughs> own their homes. So most folks uh, tend to stay here for the long term. And that's uh, median household income. That's a good number to know. Is a little bit above average in Phelps. It's actually at 65000 The national... Um, median household income is only 62,843 all right well let's get out there i know it's going to be a cold one but we'll bundle up and um do a little walkthrough for you guys bella's ready to roll let's get after it check out this awesome town I've been looking forward to this little ex exploration here. Um, 
this historic town is known for the production of sauerkraut. That's right. Um, if you ever go to Central Park, you will probably end up buying a Nathan's hot dog. And you have the option of chili or sauerkraut. And as a kid growing up in New York City, I used to love buying hot dogs out in the city. There's no better feel as a kid than getting in line for a hot dog. I loved it with sauerkraut. Some people like ketchup and mustard and this and that, but um, as a kid, I used to love that. Anyways, this place, Phelps, New York, uh, was known as the world-renowned producer of sauerkraut, which is essentially pickled cabbage and is really, really, really good for you uh, due to its fiber content as well as, let's see, Phelps Historic District adopted by the Village Board in 1990. Come on, Bella. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, uh, pickled cabbage is good for you. Uh, what is this? It's, it's got a ton of probiotics, so it's really good for your gut. Bonnie's Beauty Boutique. Wow, this place has not been touched since like the 70s. Look at that. That's awesome. Across the street is the Cocktail Lounge Restaurant. And what's this? Yep, so we are on Main Street. It's a little early. Bella's getting all excited as always. Check out that truck across the street. Local plate. This place is very popular, guys. Local plate for your breakfast, lunch, specials. Let's look at their menu. We'll have to come back here. They have a lot of cool stuff in here. We'll have to come back, absolutely. Maybe grab a bite to eat. Come on. There's the post, the post office. And they have a barber shop here called, well, I'm not sure what it's called because there's no sign. But, hmm, interesting. Mickey's Toys and Trains. Looks like another empty storefront. Yep, not much to see here. Used to be a toy store, but not anymore. And we have here at the Pizza Emporium and Deli. Again, I'm not sure. Are they open? Nope. Not sure if they're open. All right, so there's an intersection, Ontario Street and Main Street. I'm gonna probably cross and check out the other side of the street. There's some homes for sale. So I do believe the second week of August, uh, there's a big festival, the Sauerkraut Festival here in Phelps. And um, it's a very, very big attraction. A lot of a lot of stuff to do here in Phelps during this festival. Especially for the kids. So there's uh, 23 reviews 
from the locals here in Phelps, New York on niche.com. I'm gonna go through a couple of them. The first one is a four out of five star review. The person writes, Phelps is a rather typical small village. The town itself may appear rather antiquated with several businesses having been originally established. We'll let that truck pass. Uh, have been originally established in the early 20th century. The community, however, is very supportive of its members, many of whom are actively working for the benefit of the community as a whole. And there's establishments such as the Phelps Lions Club, the United Church of Phelps, and Legion Post 457, which all work to support the community and provide services. There are local boy uh, scout and Girl Scout troops, which uh, youth may participate in as well as 4-H programs nearby. All right, let's check out another review. This person gives it, wow, it's sunny and I'm getting tangled up. Thanks, Bella. She's pulling me every which way because that's how she rolls. Uh, Another person writes, gives it three stars. This is the Cheney Funeral Home over here. Uh, the state of local business used to be better. The two local owned shops, Bev Variety Store and Sills Place closed down. And they were the only decent places to go to if you needed to pick something up that you were missing. Now there's a lot of Dollar General, no, I'm going to repeat that. Now there's a Dollar General just on the edge of town that no one wanted, but somehow the mayor still managed to allow. Um, recently, a Wade Wade's opened uh, where Bev used to be, and they seemed all right. But you're still better off going to one of the two gas stations in town. Okay, so town politics. Now you get it, not too many folks want chain stores. Everyone wants a family owned store that's been passed on from generation to generation. And here we have the Phelps Community Museum Historic Society, circa 1869. Bella's enjoying Phelps. She's sniffing every single bush and tree. All right. Come on, Bella, let's go. I know it smells like sauerkraut. Just kidding. Let's see if there's a sign when this museum opens. It's even more important today. I've seen the sign. It's a cool little porch. This is the How House. It has been placed at the National Register of Historic Places. Thank you. 
And what I like to do is not just check out the main strip. I also like to venture out a little bit, check out the downtown, uh, I mean the residential spots, check out how the folks live in town, in, in the surrounding town areas and so forth. So these are some of the main houses on the main strip, on Main Street, I should say. Very nice, humongous. Wonder how much it costs to heat this bad boy in the winter. Come on, Bella, let's go. Let's go, Missy. So cool. Looks like a nice big Italian villa here on the outskirts of the village. This must be the Phelps party house. What do you think, Bella? The Historic Society and Museum is open Wednesday through Friday from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. There you go, guys. In case you want to come visit and dive into some history, the museum is only open on certain days. We're going to check out the opposite side of the street now on Main Street. That's a cool tree. It's all completely covered. Never seen that before. Huh. There's the Phelps Town Hall across the street. Built in 1849, guys. 1849. And this building here Let's see, it's a storefront, an empty storefront. Physical Rehab, Hoffman Clinic. Here's another empty storefront with some interesting statues and knickknacks. Huh, let's check it out. Okay, it says here, the clinic is permanently closed. Anyone interested in purchasing equipment? Okay, so. Some cool stuff. Another business, unfortunately, bites the dust here in um, Phelps, New York. It's unfortunate. And on the corner of Exchange Street and Main Street. Doesn't say what it is, but don't blame me. I voted for Trump is what the flag reads. Okay. And let's see what this little map shows us. It's telling us we are in the this downtown district. And there's a couple of nice parks here, the Methodist Memorial Park, and you have the Crooked uh, Bridge Park. And there's also the Redfield Park on the south side of the town of the village. I wonder if this restaurant is still in business. I'm curious now. I do like the decorations, the 19th century decorations of these buildings. It's very cool. What's this H&R block? A laundromat. We have a little salon here. And the vanilla bean bakery. Astoria restaurant. 
So there's some nice businesses flourishing here. There's a pharmacy, Phelps Hometown Pharmacy. Let's check it out. Oh wow, okay. And Fat Boys Pizzeria. What is this? Body Wellness Spa. Body Needs Wellness Spa. Looks very really cool. I can use some of that to distress me. Look at that. She's having a nice, nice old time soaking her feet in that concoction. Walking down Church Street. Here they have that the post office. Come on, Bella. Yeah. Check out that church over there. There's some cool stores. Okay, we have smoking tails distillery another cool place to check out when visiting Phelps New York you ready Bella are you ready there's a nice church on Church Street And there's a church turned art gallery across the street. St. John's Episcopal Church. Cool little house. Seventh Church. Another empty storefront that hasn't been touched in years, it looks like. I gotta say, guys, Phelps can definitely use a renovation uh, project here. It does look like a very charming little village. Wonder what time these guys open up. They open from 11 to 5 on Saturdays and Sundays, 11 30 to 4. They're also open on Fridays, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. There you go. I think we'll get some breakfast here at the local Pilates. bunch of coffee options, smoothies, all types of bagels, everything you want. Very cool.
All right, so here is the menu here. They have a bunch of goodies here, healthy options. Breakfast egg witch, I might go with that. That looks really good. The farmer's daughter, fried egg, sharp cheddar, bacon. That's what I'm going with, ladies and gents. They also sell these awesome breads called salty breads. I've never tried this before, so we'll give it a try. Got my cup of joe, just waiting on the bagel. Very cool little place, very welcoming. All right, got me some home fries and got my bagel. He was he got Bacon, egg, and cheese. Look at that, delicious. Fried, fried egg. About to dig in and enjoy. fun experience the food was delicious the place is called Pilates uh, we have Astoria restaurant and we're gonna check out this vanilla bean bakery Howdy, y'all. Well. Better than I deserve. Can I steal? Uh, yeah, always. Yeah, this. These bad boys are looking good, so I'm gonna have to take two of them. Which one? Uh, these two over here. The pepperoni and sausage. Awesome. Look at all the different Phelpses. The question is, where does Michael Phelps live? How many miles to his house? Just kidding. Phelps, Maryland. Wow, that sun is shining bright. Phelps, Michigan, 482. Phelps, Kentucky, 626. And the farthest Phelps in the United States is Phelps, Texas, 1,582 miles. Very cool.
that was cool well i hope you guys enjoyed phelps new york this place is awesome it's welcoming it's friendly it's safe and uh, i strongly recommend you guys come check it out for yourself later